Hi everybody, welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And you can find me online at stampingwithmelva.com. Today I want to show you how we actually made this card um, on my Monday night class. So if you're ever interested in joining on Monday nights at 7 o'clock Pacific, I do a free Zoom class. So the Zoom information is always posted about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, on Facebook, my Facebook group page, and also on Instagram. So you can get find that information, join me, we'll make a card, I give you the measurements, walk you through it, and you just use your supplies, and we just kind of have some time crafting together. So if you're ever interested, it's every Monday night at seven o'clock Pacific. But we made this card the other night, and I, it was so pretty, I loved how it turned out, and I thought I would share it, um, and make a video on how to do it. Now, I'm not sure the name. I'm going to call it a box card. I don't know if that's the name. I tend to just make up fancy full names because I often don't know what the names are. Um, and I've used the Tropical Leaf Bundle, which is one of the March online exclusives. It's only available through my online store. I'm in love with this bundle, the little um, Monstera leaves. I'm hoping to get it right. Monstera leaves are so pretty. So let me flip over to my desktop and I'll show you how to make this card. It really isn't that hard. Okay, so here's the card we made. So this is why I call it a folding box card. So when you, so it's, there's the box. It's also a part box here. Um, but when you push this, it folds flat to go into a regular size envelope. It's really great. Um, but when you want to stand it up, it will kind of stand up. I don't know why it's, it's being a little bit it's a little bit top heavy, so it's, but it will stand. Okay, so let's show you how to make it. It's really not that hard. So this is the, the tropical leaf. So these are the leaves I'm using. I have also used the fern um, embossing folder. It's hard to see that fern, it's so pretty. Um, I love the fact that this is a punch bundle. I'm a sucker for punches, so it punches the big leaf out. You can fussy cut, we will fussy cut the little leaf out on this one. Okay, so supplies. You need a piece of cardstock. This is old olive and it's cut five and a half by eight and a quarter. So normal, so a half a sheet of cardstock is five and a half by eight and a half. So this is five and a half by eight and a quarter. So trim just a quarter of an inch off that and then you're going to score it at four and a quarter. Now, the smaller side that's the quarter of an inch smaller is the front of your card. So we're just going to take give it a good burnish with your bone folder. And before you take it out of your trimmer, you actually want to do some more scoring. So on this side, so let's take this. This is the small side. This is the four inch side. This is the four and a quarter. So you're going to score one inch, two inches. I think about this one inch, two inches, three inches. Yeah. Okay. And I've already got the four inches. So again, five and a half by eight and a half, cut a quarter of an inch off one end. So your card base ends up being uh, five, uh, sorry, five and a half by eight and a quarter. Then you're going to score it at one inch, two inches, three inches, and four inches. So the four inches is the is the middle of the card. Okay. So five and a half by eight and a quarter scored at one, two, three, and four along that eight and a quarter inch side. What we're going to do now is starting from the one inch flap or the score line, just fold in, use your bone folder, give it a good burnish. Just keep folding these in and they will eventually just kind of fold and make a little box. And I already did that one in. Okay, so you can see this kind of just wants to fold in on itself to create what will be that box. Now, I like to use, you can either use tear and tape adhesive or you can use liquid glue. I'm gonna use tear and tape on this. Now, if you have a trick or have a an issue with tear and tape, sometimes take peeling off tear and tape uh, in one go is all very scary because once you've got 
two strips or one strip of tear and tape, it's, it's like, oh my gosh, it's going to all stick. So what I like to do is take your take your pick tool or something and just lift up one end about an inch and lift that thing that I'm making, having to think about how this is going to go. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay, lift that one off, but then on this one, lift just the bottom piece. Okay, so lift that up and fold it back to the outside. Okay, so this is going to create this box. This one you've got the these, the um, tear and tape on is going to fold in right against that score line. But the way to actually make this easier is... Okay, so fold it in, fold it on the two inch score line and then just fold it over on that fold line like that. You may need to burnish it a little bit like I do. We're just gonna kind of, okay. So now it's just folded straight over. And when you pull it back, that one inch flap, the first one inch flap is already adhered. Now I'm just gonna take, and you can then gently peel back that piece of tear and tape just makes it easier to try and figure out so we how to do this i tried this many ways and and i just find that if you trying to fold it in on itself you don't get it even on the the edges whereas this kind of kind of fits together all right that's that's the card base and i realized i forgot a piece of basic white cardstock but we'll we'll get that in just a minute actually we do need it now so i'm going to grab a piece of basic white cardstock Okay, so what we want to do is we want to cut a piece of basic white cardstock that will fit on this this um, front flap, and it needs to be. So this front flap is three and a quarter by five and a half. So we want to make this three inches by five and a quarter. So we're just going to cut a piece of basic white. So I'm going to cut it at five and a quarter. And then what did I say? I have a great memory. It's just kind of short. <laughs> My dad used to say that all the time. All right. So three inches by five and a quarter, and it will fit perfectly in this front. Now we're going to do a little bit of stamping on this just to kind of, you know, decorate decorate that inside uh, or in the back of the card. So I'm just going to take, I've got pear pizzazz, old olive, and um, mossy meadow for my colors. So I'm going to take and use the little leaf, the smaller of the two, and I'm just going to kind of stamp some random, let's see how strong that is. So I'm going to stamp off because I really don't want this to be the focal point. I'm just going to stamp each of these off before I stamp the leaves just so it's just a bit of a decoration you don't have to do the whole thing because not all of it's going to show so this part of here isn't going to show but around the edge is going to show so we will just do that and do some some leaves around there so that we've got a little bit of decoration and then I think I stamped stems on on the card I made the other night in class before I realized I didn't really have anything atta to attach to those stems. So now we're going to just put this on the back like that. Just gives it a bit of decoration on there. Okay, so now it's ready. Now we're ready to add the other box part. So the second box part is the piece that fits over this. So it kind of holds it all together. So you need a piece, again, I'm using old olive. And this is five and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I realize that's not the right measurement, sorry. Hang on for a sec. Let's make sure I've got this right. So three and a quarter, four and a quarter, five and a quarter by, should be four. So I'm just gonna trim off a quarter of an inch off of mine. You could do it with what I gave you, but that's better. Okay, so this is this is 
five and a quarter by four. And we're going to score this in my, we're going to score this at one inch and two inches um, along this um, long side. One inch, two inches. So this piece, the fold, the flaps are on the right hand side. So this piece, the long side, is going to adhere to the front of the card. And then these two are going to fold in on each other to create. It's only half of a box in this case. So again, we're going to take and fold and burnish on our score lines. So again, it folds in on itself. So it fits on to the card like this. Now, a trick on this one, the way I found it works. If you fold, fold your card, fold your front box flap over, fold your um, other second piece flat with the two flaps like this, and line up your edge of the smaller piece to the middle score line on this box, on the box, and then it will align up with the right hand edge and you're going to put glue here and on the first flap. So let's do that one first. So I'm going to use liquid glue. So put glue on just this because it shows up better, just on the very first one inch flap. And if you line that up, I've got mine flat, line that piece up with the edge of right hand edge of your card base kind of close to being in the middle oops liquid glue great because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room but also will wiggle so make sure you've got a got a hold on it all right so we've got that piece done and now that only that first flap is glued down and now we can take and glue this now this is where you have to be a little careful you don't want glue to be above and below this so take glue put glue down now this is where um uh tear and tape may be better so you know it's kind of easier not to go over the edge but i'm going to just try and make sure i don't go over my the width of the glue that i'm applying is not over a, one inch fold that flat so that this this two inch score line is le level with the edge of it and then just fold it flat and it should line up she says confidently with the edge of that score line so that when the card when you unfold it you end up with this box that actually will stand up on this one okay there we go now it's decorating so i took a piece of old olive and that is oh i need to trim it a quarter of an inch my measurement for that was based on the original measurement. So let's cut this. Off. Then I'll give you the measurement. So this piece of old olive for the front of it is three inches by three and three quarter inches. And I have embossed it using that really pretty fern embossing folder. So we're going to adhere that to the front of our card. Now somebody asked me where you would do your writing for your note on this one and I think you would have to put it on the back of this card because there really is no place to to write a note um, on it. So put some basic white on the back of your of your card for this one. All right so we've got that. Now we can do some stamping and create some leaves. So I'm going to create three leaves or stamp three leaves. I want two of the large and one of the small, and I'm going to do one in each. So I've got old olive, mossy meadow, and pear pizzazz. Oops, and I don't want to get glue all over or ink all over my fingers. Okay, so there we go. So I'm going to start with my lightest color, which is pear pizzazz, and I'm going to stamp one of the large flowers or uh, leaves in pear pizzazz. And then I'm going to go to old olive, which is a little bit darker. And I'm going to stamp one of the old olives. And then I'm going to stamp the small leaf in Mossy Meadow. And we're going to have to cut that one out because there is no punch. There's only the punch punches out the... And then the last thing I want to stamp, and I think I want to do this one in 
mossy meadow. I'm going to fussy cut this. You can die cut it. You can punch it. Um, but I'm just going to stamp it in a, in a spot there on my paper, my basic white. Close these up before I get my fingers all in them. Okay, so let's take and we can punch the large, these large monstera. That's what they are, monstera leaves out. Like that. I wish it punched the little one out, but it doesn't. So we're going to just take and fussy cut this. So if you're not into fussy cutting, sorry, just use three of the big ones. But I'm not worrying about going into the, the slits in the, in the leaf. Um, I'm just going to fussy cut around the edge. Remember to steer with um, with the paper hand. So the hand that's holding the paper, you're, you're steering the paper and not your scissors. And I'm not going right up to the edge. I'm leaving a just a little bit of white showing. All right, and then the same, I'm just gonna take and fussy cut around. My sentiment again, like I said, you could you could do a die cut, you could punch it out. Um, up to you. If you follow me, you know that I tend to fussy cut my sentiments. I'm just kind of going in a little bit. So I'm not going into each kind of. I'm just kind of following the letters a little bit. So it's not straight. There we go. Okay. Now, I used this is some of the other the ribbon. This is the the gold and silver one eighth inch ribbon that's part of the online exclusives. I am in love with this gold ribbon. I haven't even touched the silver, um, but this one eighth inch ribbon. So I'm just going to take and kind of wrap this around my hand very loosely. So I'm not even worrying about it. I'm just kind of hold it in one spot. Pull it or uh, cut it off and then pinch the two ends or the, the middle together. Take your stamp and seal. <laughs> I had to find it. Put some stamp and seal in the middle and then just push that down so it's adhered in the middle. Oops, there we go. Like that. And now we're going to arrange these flowers and I'm going to use dimensionals or keep saying flowers, leaves, these monstera leaves on. There's the small one. All right. Okay, so I'm going to put the, the old olive one, I think this was old olive, kind of here. And then I'm going to put the hair pizzazz. Oh, you know what I forgot to do on these leaves? Oh, well, that's okay. Um, there is, that's really too bad. I wonder if I can do it. There are veins, which look really cool. So let me see if I can. This The card lies flat. And so let's see. Hopefully I won't. Wreck it. So you want to do this before. So when you've stamped the, the leaf itself, um, stamp the vein. Don't do what I'm doing, but we'll see if this works. So I'm just going to take and see if I can actually stamp on there. Oh, pretty good. Okay, there we go. Like that. And then, oh, good save. This one may not. Let's see. I'm going to stamp like that. And... Not sure you're going to see this one very much because it's tone on tone with the, the mossy meadow. Oh, pretty good. Sure. Ha, good save. Okay. Phew. All right. And then, so the last thing um, we have to put on is our sentiment. So I'm going to put that right there with some dimensionals. And then I used the brushed um, metallic adhesive dots, adhesive back dots on this one. I don't have any of the gold left. So I'm going to use, these are the um, pastel adhesive back sequins that are in the mini catalog. Um, and there's gold. So I'm going to use, I was just kind of looking for some gold 
gold embellishments and these are perfect again i've used a lot of the gold <laughs> and not so many of the pink and blue ones what does that say hmm. all right so there we go um two cards slightly different coloring on the leaves but that's okay i'm quite happy with that i think i might have just colored uh, stamped in pear pizzazz on this one not sure um, but i kind of like the dark the tones on this one so there we go that is what i'm calling a folding box card if you've got a better name for it let me know i'm happy to take your name uh, if you have any questions about this please just uh post them underneath this video or if you head over to my blog um, the link on, is underneath this video you will find all the written instructions and measurements for my card and you can leave a comment on my blog if you have a question or just leave a comment on my blog i love to get comments uh, all right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get notified when I go live or when I post a video. Uh, and you'll, that way it just it will come up and you'll know when I'm live. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you have a great day. Happy stamping. Bye.